example, I have to say, this is a challenge inside governments. Because inside governments, they also work, because they also work as sectors many times, and they work with the international community on their sectors. So health ministers talk work with AHO, in, in our case, or WHO, and so on. So the first challenge, I would say, is in a, in, in a government to ensure that you have a, a, a cohesive, a coherent program that is according to your uh, uh, interests and ambitions and not to elsewhere's ambitions. And, and in my case, because I, I realize that, for example, the Ministry of Housing will make fantastic new social houses in a place where there were no health facility, there were no school, so we made uh, sort of committees that, or ministers that will think strategically and they will plan that this kind of intervention, they were very good, but they had to be in a coherent way to really solve the problems. But then you have the second issue that you mentioned is how you relate to partners. And let me say something that is not related to my experience as, as uh, president, but it's my experience now. Because, and I don't know, Kristalina, what the World Bank is doing on the regard, in regards of the development reform that the UN is developing. Because on the development reform, all these UN partners, all these development agencies, and all development, all the agencies in a country will have to develop a so-called common, um, the CCA is that the common country assessment. All of them have to get together, take out their own agendas, try to think on a real uh, assessment on the country situation, whatever it is, it's a fragile or not a fragile country, we will have to do this, and then according to that, the one develop the so-called UNDAF, is, that is the UN Development Assistance Framework. I hate the tribal language of the UN, I have to say. Yeah? I always try to speak in, I said in Spanish, or in a people language, because otherwise nobody knows what you're talking about. But this is a, a framework to see how you're gonna support the country. And that UNDAF has to be approved by the government. So that will bring national ownership, that what you're talking about. It's not that I come to a country and say, look, according to my opinion, you have to do this, this, and this. It might be right, it might be true, but that's not the priorities of the government. So if you want to make sure you change the priorities, you need to work with them, you need to convince them, you need to show, but, but in the meantime, you need to support on their things. And what Ellen was mentioning, brings me back to discussion that I had in the UN when we are UN women, that many times the country was coming out of a war, and then as UN we asked 20 different goals. Like I would say, but you cannot ask a country who just that they will kill themselves and have no institutions to be Denmark tomorrow, to be a Nordic country tomorrow, <laughs> that's impossible. I mean, I, I'm not talking about the bank, I'm not, not talking about the, the recommendation of the UN. And, and I was told, look, yes, it's true, but we need to tell the country all the things they need to do. Yeah, but you know what? It's much more useful to have three or four priorities, and then you can gradually advance to new ones, so countries feel what the efforts and the progress they're doing is recognized, is acknowledged, and then you can continue working. So, so I think that's very important. And, and the other thing I wanted to mention, and, and this I think it goes well for the international financial institutions, to all, all these different, uh, but even though I have to say, we uh, as Latin Americans with the IDB, we had good possibilities to work, and with the World Bank as well, supported a lot of different projects after recovering democracy. But it still is not easy to include NGOs, business, uh, business uh, um, sector, and I think, leadership is needed to try to create, create partnership with all of them to, to, to be able to really advance all the objectives as a country that you have to be a fair and a sustainable country that can uh, give progress and, and, and benefit to all its people. It's not easy, but it can be done. And uh, on the other hand, you cannot ask everyone to have the same agenda because some of some of these organizations, they have an agenda that maybe some governments are not aware yet that is so important. So you have to find a way to work in these conditions, I would say. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Michelle. And, uh, uh,